Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Carly Casti. I'm on the weather team here at Fox 31 and Channel 2 News. Thank you so much for your video. I'm so happy to be part of your I Love Reading Week. I also love reading, and so for today, we are going to be reading The Sky Stirs Up Trouble. It's about tornadoes. But first, I want to take you on a little bit of a tour around the studio. To start our tour here in the Weather Center, there's the book we're going to read. And there, that's where I have my weather graphics. It's like a fancy PowerPoint system. That's how you'll see what I also see on TV. So here's the studio from this view. This is one of two that we do have. So we'll walk this way. And this is off to our infamous green screen. So here's where we do the weather, where you'd see on TV stand in front here and then you have a monitor on either side so you can see what you're pointing at also one in front of you and then there's the other one on the other side and then that's just where we came from there's the weather center here in the center that's the anchor desk so that's where the anchor sits Back behind, there's our big monitor wall. So lots of times anchors will stand in front too. We have like, you can see here, your picture of your school, or we also have other videos. And then we also have another anchor spot over there. Then here, you can see all the cameras and all the monitors. And also, <laughs> step back a little more, you can see all of the lights. So lots of lights and lots of monitors too and then one thing here that the anchors how they can see and read that's the prompter right there so that's where they can read that from here on the green screen there is no prompter it's all ad lib just like how you talk or have a conversation that's also how weather is and then here back to the weather center Okay, we're back in the Weather Center, and again the book we're going to read that's called the sky stirs up trouble it's about tornadoes so chapter one, tornado warning. Tornado siren called out Belle's mom. Quick, everyone downstairs. That's the safest place in the house. Belle and her cousin Dylan hurried down to the basement. I'm scared, said Dylan. Is the house going to blow away? Don't worry, Belle stood up and patted her dog, Stormy. The siren was just a warning. It doesn't mean a tornado is actually going to get us. After half an hour, Belle's mom said, good news, no tornado after all. The weather website said the warning is over. The storm has moved away, so we can go back upstairs. Belle said, Mom, can I make a tornado cake with Dylan? That's how you taught me about tornadoes. Weather isn't so scary once you understand it. A cake, said Dylan. I am hungry, or is this a Belle the Weather Girl thing? Can we eat this cake, or does it just spin around? Belle's mom laughed. Tornado cake is a real cake. I have the recipe here. I'll get out the ingredients and you two can measure them. Belle said, a tornado cake needs the perfect ingredients. Otherwise, it won't turn out right. Tornadoes are the same way. Dylan looked outside. The sky was clearing. Hey, is that why we didn't have a tornado today? The storm didn't have the perfect ingredients? Right, said Belle. A tornado needs warm air, cold air, water, and big winds. She grabbed the sugar. How would our cake taste if we left this out? Yuck, answered Dylan. Belle laughed. Leave out one important ingredient and the cake doesn't work. That's true for tornadoes too. Belle added sugar to the butter Dylan had put in the bowl. She handed Dylan a spoon. Stir them together. It takes a lot of energy, right? The perfect tornado ingredients only mix during big energy storms. You can see there, you have your warm dry air, cold dry air, the winds and the warm moist air to mix it all together. Sometimes the tornado ingredients do mix, Belle said. Then the storm starts spinning, that makes a funnel cloud. She pulled something out of the kitchen drawer. This is what a funnel looks like. So that's a tornado, asked Dylan. Not exactly. Funnel clouds only turn into tornadoes if they touch the ground. Lots of funnel clouds never do, said Belle. 
It sure looks like a tornado hit in here, Belle's mom said. Let's clean up while the cake bakes. Belle pulled out the vacuum cleaner. Here's the vacuum. Tornadoes suck things up like giant vacuums, Belle said. That's why you'll find a safe place during boardings, like going down to the basement. We want to be out of the way if the tornado ingredients do mix. You can see the cake, it's baking, and look at Stormy. <laughs> There's the cake. Dylan ate his last bite of cake. I'm glad the cake ingredients were right and that the tornado ingredients were wrong. Let's take cake downstairs the next time there's a warning. Good plan, said Belle. And stay tuned for tomorrow because every day is another weather day. And that's it. Let's so hope you guys enjoyed the book. Also learned a little bit about tornadoes. Not so scary once you do understand it, but of course, safe place. Always do so if you do hear that tornado warning. Thanks again for asking me to read. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.